All right, what's going on, everybody? Look, it's been a rather red day in the market as, of course, the Bitcoin ETF launch out in Hong Kong was honestly quite a disappointment. Some would say even a disaster. And so today I want to talk a little bit about exactly what's going on, why the market's pulling back, and exactly what I'm going to be doing as of now. And so with that in mind, let's not waste any more time at all, and let's get straight into the video. So guys, please don't forget, if you do want to trade a Bitcoin, as we, of course, do go through this craziness, you can do it down on CoinW down below. Once you do register, you don't need a VPN, nor do you need the KYC, meaning you don't need to give them any of your personal information. You can just deposit funds and start trading and you'll get up to thirty thousand dollars in trading bonuses this was a very hard deal to negotiate so please don't miss out on it please you take advantage of it again it's up to 30k go use it okay but anyway let's talk about what's been going on so what we can see here is that prior to or the day before yesterday okay everybody was excited in anticipation of the fact that hong kong was going to be launching their bitcoin etf and their ethereum etf now not only were people just excited about it people were saying that this was going to outperform the u.s and much more now this is from the day before yesterday just so you can get an idea of the anticipation and excitement that was building up before this launch one post from whale wire nothing against whale wire it's just what they were reporting went to say that the hong kong based etfs are going live tomorrow and issuers believe their first day will be larger than the u.s launch predicting over 125 million dollars on day one this is going to be the biggest flop to date nearly all etfs are experiencing historic outflows right now and tethers that capacity for its manipulation scheme so what you can see is that even well wire knew that this was set to to be a flop okay now i saw this everywhere i mean consistently 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 people saying this was going to be it this was going to be the next you know this was going to be the next catalyst to get us to 100k blah 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 and i'm just sitting here thinking like hey first of all the technicals are showing downside potential Second of all, these things where we anticipate green and we anticipate good usually end up bad. I don't know why. It's just what ends up happening. And I even said that in a video from yesterday. I mean, you can see it here. Uh, there we go. Where I was talking about basically, this was 24 hours ago, 22 hours ago. I said Bitcoin warning, possible dump inbound. This was before the market started falling. And someone messaged and they said no, nothing against this guy. He was just asking a general question. He said, what about the Asian market ETF tomorrow? Don't you think this will bring new money in and swing us up again? I said, remember how when the US ETF launched, the market dropped? that's my concern here too but no way true of knowing that was the concern this was the fear and this is exactly what we're getting now to put it even to further comparison now that you have an idea of what people were expecting you know 125 to 300 million there was 11 million dollars of inflows that's bad that's like 10 times worse than what was expected at the lowest level of expectations 30 times lower than expected at the average level of expectation so now as of course as a result of this people got too excited people were going along people were leveraging people were doing all this stupid shit expecting that we were going to see that pump to the upside expecting that the hong kong etf was going to move us to the upside and as a result of that we saw now of course now that the market started to pull back those liquidations really start to take effect there are millions tens hundreds of millions of dollars of liquidations happening right now and the lower we go the worse they're going to get in yesterday's video go check it out i told you all that there were a shit ton of liquidations that were going to take place between 55 and fifty nine thousand dollars and at this pace, it does seem as if this is where we're heading, right? It does seem as if we're heading towards these lower levels, especially as we do see more and more of these longs getting liquidated because people were overexcited and expecting that we were going to see this market pump, you know, based off of the, the actual release of the ETFs. And you guys remember when the US ETF launched, which wasn't a flop with hundreds of millions of dollars of inflows over time, we saw the market dump. So now think about the results of whenever something like this does happen and it is a flop, right? Something that wasn't a flop caused the market to dump. What do you think was going to happen when the market or when the thing is a flop? You get what I mean? Like the struggle that I have here is that on a consistent basis throughout the last four to five years that I've been doing this on YouTube, I have consistently seen and said over and over and over again, these events will almost always go the opposite of what people think. So if you think it's going to go good, expect the market to pull back. If you think it's the worst thing ever, like FTX crashing, the market's usually going to bounce and continue upwards from there because that's what people call rock bottom, right? It happens over and over again, and this is exactly what's happening now. Now, am I saying that we're going to see Bitcoin absolutely tank towards, you know, I mean, I don't know. Like, am I saying we're going to see Bitcoin absolutely tank to, you know, the low 40s? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm actually not even saying for sure that we're going to go, like, hard crash to the downside mode. We could literally just see Bitcoin possibly pull back to, like, I don't know, you know, like 59,000 or something like that. Maybe retest the bottom side of this channel again and then look to continue upwards. That is within the realm of possibilities. But in the meantime, hundreds of millions of dollars are going to be liquidated on this move. And it's mostly people who are not, 
I don't know if they're new to the market or if they're just being greedy. Because at the end of the day, you should know better than to going high long leverage or high short leverage based off of an event. It's such a terrible idea, okay? So going forward, now that we have an idea of like, okay, why is the market pulling back? We have an idea of kind of, again, what caused it, why there is so much disappointment. Let's talk about what we're doing. Well, what I'm doing is quite simple. It's very simple and very easy. I am starting to accumulate here. Now, I'm not doing a lot of buying quite yet because I do believe there is a little bit more possible downside, but I am doing a little bit of accumulating. I'm gonna buy a little bit of Bitcoin here, some Solana, Jasmine, Casper, Shiba, Litecoin. I mean, literally all of these ones you can think of, AVAX, Render, I mean, Hedera, all of them, all of these ones that are pulling back, I'm going to buy a little bit of. The reason being is because, again, we are in a macro bull market. At the end of the day, price go up, right? And at the end of the day, maybe, <laughs> not, maybe not today, um, but the end of the week, the end of the month, at the end of the year, generally, in a bull market like this, price go up. Now, it might take months, right? We might go sideways and boring and down for a couple months before we actually start seeing prices go up, but prices will go up. That's just what they do. It's just a bull market. And unless something catastrophic, some huge black swan happens that throws off the entire liquidity cycle of the entire world, prices are likely going to go up. And so because of that, on days like today, where we're seeing the market down, I mean, you know, 3%, 5%, 6%, 8% evenly across the board, I am going to start accumulating because I do believe we're going to see higher prices in the future than we are at right now. And that's the only reason that I need to start buying. And so with that in mind, I'm not going to go too deeply into what I am buying. What I will say is that I'm going to upload three, four, five videos today talking about some of my favorite cryptos and the levels in which I'm buying and the way in which I'm buying. So make sure that you do turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel so that you can't check out when I'm buying Solana, Hedera, Jasmine, Render, Caspa, maybe some ETH, things like that, okay? So make sure that you are subscribed. I like to keep these videos rather short. So again, subscribe to the channel, check that out. And don't forget, at the end of the day, you can use coin W, link down in the description below. You will get access to $30,000 in rewards and you're gonna get free access to our trading group down there as well. So make sure that you do go check it out and don't miss out on it. Cause again, it's not an easy deal to get, so don't waste it. There's no point in doing that. So overall, of course, I hope you guys did enjoy today's little Monday, or not Monday, what's today? Tuesday, Tuesday morning update. If you did, you can always let me know by liking this video and I will see you all in the next couple videos that will be releasing today. See you later, everybody. Peace.